Hi and welcome back to Sansamed. Now we're gonna continue our discussion about uh, T cells, especially the T helper cells. So what is it that is distinguishable with uh, T helper cells? It's their CD marker called CD4 on their cell surface. But it has also the other uh, CD marker called CD3, which is common in all T cells. As you remember, CD stands for Cluster of Differentiation. The T helper cells are part of our adaptive immune system, which is actually subdivided into a humoral and cell mediated part, and T helper cell is part of both of them. But the most important fact about T helper cell is that it is not a killer. It does not induce phagocytosis by itself. It rather helps and amplifies other uh, cells to induce their functions. There are two major subtypes of T helper cells, Th1 and Th2 which we're gonna talk about soon. But for now, let's just go back to the basics of uh, what would happen in a normal situation. So let's assume that uh, you have been exposed to a pathogen such as a bacteria, uh, either by inhalation or by contact or you name it. What will happen is that your macrophages uh, or your dendritic cells or even your B cells, which are commonly called the antigen presenting cells, abbreviated APC, will engulf and digest uh, these materials and uh, present them on their cell surface through help of a molecule called MHC. MHC stands for Major Histocompatibility Complex and this is a subtype of it called class 2. Once it has done this, it will go and present them to your T helper cells. T helper cells can also be called CD4s because uh, they're special cell surface uh, molecule. The CD4 will now bind to MHC class 2, while the peptide which is presented in MHC class 2 will bind to the specific and unique T cell receptor, abbreviated TCR, on the surface of the CD4 cells. But that's not actually enough. Uh, what is missing in this picture is the co stimulation through B7 and CD28 interaction. B7 is uh, essentially just an extra stimulation. Uh, sent by the antigen presenting cells to the receiver cell which will be your T helper cells on its uh, cell surface marker called CD28. By this interaction the cell will now be fully activated and uh, also induce the CD3 complex which kind of works as a secondary activation system. As we mentioned before the two major uh, subtypes of uh, T helper cells are Th1 and Th2. The Th1 will mainly work on macrophages, while the Th2 will mainly focus on B cells and then uh, plasma cells. As in this slide you see a lot of numbers and a lot of uh, cytokines. So always as a start, your antigen presenting cells will be exposed to a pathogen and, uh, or its antigens and then they will present them uh, through help of MHC2 to T helper cells called THO. THO can also be called null T helper cells or naive T helper cells. This is a, essentially an undifferentiated T helper cell. And this one contains uh, genes for different cytokines, including interleukin-4, interleukin-5, tumor necrotic factor, and interferon gamma. There are many more, but these are the most important ones. So then the APC send different cytokines uh, to this uh, T helper cell, and these determining cytokines will determine which of these subtypes it should differentiate to. What response your body wants to the different pathogen. If it would send interleukin-4, then your T, a null uh, T helper cell will differentiate into T, Th2, uh, which would then activate your B cells and convert them to plasma cells, releasing lots of antibodies for allergic response and bacterial protection. This is more seen in more details in uh, the video about type 1 hypersensitivity. But if the APC would send another interleukin called interleukin 12, it will differentiate your null T helper cell into Th1, which would then activate uh, and amplify your macrophages and natural killer cells. This pathway is, uh, uh, can be seen in detail in the video about type 4 hypersensitivity. One last important thing we should mention is um, the correlation of a pathology about T helper cells and it's probably one of the most known diseases throughout the world, AIDS, standing for 
acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This is uh, through a virus called human immunodeficiency virus, abbreviated HIV. The virus contains uh, two surface molecules called glycoprotein 41 and glycoprotein 120. These interact with surface receptors on uh, T helper cells. These include the CD4 receptor, which would bind to G GP120, and uh, cytokine receptors such as chemokine receptor 5. Through this interaction, the retrovirus of HIV enters T helper cells and induces all the different pathologies and downregulate their numbers and function. But also remember that the HIV virus does not only affect your T helper cells, it also affects all of your macrophages. So it's not the only cell that suffers. So remember always, the HIV affects both CD4 cells and all of your macrophages. And in the upcoming week, uh, we're gonna upload a video in detailed description about how HIV and AIDS works. And uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next slide about T-regulatory cells.